Imagine this, the game you just released is getting perfect review scores from some critics while getting really low scores from others. How can a game be both a 100 and a 45? These are the review scores for the newest game from Xbox, Sinuous Saga Hellblade 2. And you can see it's caused quite the divide, both with fans and critics. Here's what I think led to this. You see, there were two main problems with the first Hellblade game. One, the puzzles were too frequent and got annoying, and two, the combat needed more variety. So for Hellblade 2, they decreased and de-emphasized the puzzles, and they reworked the combat system to be more focused and to have more enemy types. What effect did these changes ultimately have on the sequel? Well, I think the combat is significantly improved. It's straight up brutal, and I was blown away with how many different animations you're presented with while fighting. However, now that the puzzles have been pared down, this second game is very light on gameplay. I think the big mistake the devs made was that they didn't really add anything to replace the elements they removed. The devs obviously put all their effort into the presentation of Hellblade 2. And here's something everyone can agree on. This game is a stunning showcase of the current state of the art in regards to visuals and audio and video games. It really does feel next level. And to some people, just experiencing something like this can be a big part of the fun. That's how you end up with lots of critics giving this game a perfect score. If you're the type of person who prioritizes the artistic experience that video games can deliver, this game is 100% for you. It offers an almost unparalleled artistic experience. However, if you're the type of gamer who prioritizes the moment to moment gameplay, chances are this game won't impress you very much. In fact, you might think it just downright sucks. Truth is, you can rightfully argue on either side about whether or not Hellblade 2 is a good video game. But to me, the most interesting works of art are the ones that elicit strong opposing reactions. And I love interesting games. I love games that aren't created with the sole purpose of driving continuous revenue. I love games that aren't focus tested to death, but instead are developed using the guide of artistic vision. Sure, I also love games that are just fun to play, but as you can probably tell, I don't mind it when a game prioritizes the experience over the gameplay. I don't think Hellblade 2 is a perfect game, but I do think it's an interesting work of art and it's an experience that I really enjoyed.